200,000 names just like your loved one since the shooting that happened at my high school in Parkland, Florida in 2018. In high school, I actually wanted to be a teacher. Um, when I was 18 years old, I was a victim of a mass shooting that occurred at my high school in Parkland, Florida, and that took the lives of 17 students and faculty members. I no longer want to pursue that dream. I have more of a focus on ending gun violence in America. It was my senior year of Oxford High School, and we had our shooting November 30th. And it definitely did affect the way like everything that I've done moving forward has been. So I haven't had anybody in my family that's died from gun violence, but I've had friends at school and peers. So being able to see that and have to live through that was a very traumatizing experience, but it's also why I'm here. I was born two days after Columbine, and it's just been a part of my culture, been a part of social media and my growing up. It impacted my school. We, I grew up in Lubbock, Texas, and we had security guards who were armed at our school at all times and it didn't make me feel safer. It just made me feel like there was a possibility that someone would walk into my school with a gun. I've grown up my entire life in a world where school shootings are a thing that just happens and that that is just a thing that I have had to be aware of that at any point somebody could come into the school that I was in and shoot me. It's stressful and worrying and it makes you question the environment that you're in uh, while in school. As we gather here today, the next shooter is already plotting his attack. I've been a sufferer of PTSD, depression, anxiety, as well as, you know, sustaining a, a gunshot wound. It's affected the rest of my life. While I was in school, they changed the policy regarding school shooting drills to one focused on just run, hide, or fight. And that was just really terrifying for that to just be a present thing in school of like, you may not be safe. We cannot guarantee your safety. and there's nothing we can do about that. A lot of people, I feel like, purchase guns to protect themselves originally, and then they go around toting them to incite violence on people who fit into my demographic of a short, gender queer black person. I definitely believe that it's a desire to take power back or to have some type of power that they've never had before but the end result of that is a lot of lives being lost. If I could tell lawmakers one thing, it would be that they are a key factor into this situation and making it less of a normalized thing. They can make this so that families in the future won't have to mourn their children being shot up at schools. If I could tell lawmakers anything, it'd be that we will not sit idly by while you sign our death warrants. Places like schools and churches and just honestly everywhere have become hunting grounds for people in America and we'll just not sit by and wait for you to rectify this issue. I don't see the purpose of an 18 year old being able to go buy a gun after they finish blowing out their candles. The Constitution, the Second Amendment says a well armed militia. Citizens are not a militia, and it is not our right to carry guns into a grocery store, into a school, into a church. It's not our right. Gun violence is becoming an everyday occurrence for most Americans in their communities, and we have to create policy and legislation that prevents this accessibility to be so easy for those who can harm themselves or others. Laws capable of bringing safety and justice for all.